Hi guys, it's the time of the year again when I will have to go to Austria for a few months. So I have stayed here in Thailand now for eight months. In front of me is an inverter from the power wall. You know, when I uh, went to Austria last year, after let's say two months, I had an inverter failure in the power wall. This year I want to be a little bit ahead and I just taking off all the inverters from the power wall and opening them up just to look, clean them out and yeah, see if there is some corrosion anywhere and maybe something would need to be addressed. The Sun 1000 which was uh, faulty from last time I already had on the table everything was fine, it was quite clean and the place the power supply area which we repaired last time everything looked perfectly normal this one is now my oldest inverter which I have in the power wall so it's around three years old it has never failed on me and yeah I'm expecting probably a lot of dust inside so I want to clean it out. Why the inverters? Well, these ones, as you know, the sun inverters are open. So they are actively cooled. Open from the down and from the up. So a lot of dirt, insects and stuff like that can go inside. And when then the rainy season comes, which have started these months then all this dirt can get humid and it can then cause some corrosion and maybe some fault somewhere and this of course I want to avoid these devices are very easily to open why not just do that so I will stay in Austria again for around four months this time I always have to go there because I need to help my parents with some fruit harvest as you know and the other thing is I will also take the time take the chance and work a little bit earn some hard cash and yeah with that money I can then easily stay again here in Thailand for the next eight months and also do some investments maybe this time in Austria there will be a chance that we do some solar uh, I found a company where DIYers can actually get their materials and then also get help with the licensing and everything so those systems can be mounted all by people themselves then an electrician will check it give all the signatures and you can legally run a DIY solar system on grid and also get your uh, feed-in tariffs etc so this will be a maybe uh, a project which we will have in summer in Austria because I calculated the cost from a DIY a grid tight system if you do it like that would be somewhere around half or even less of the cost if, than if you would do it with an installer so if you always wanted to do something like this you live in eastern Austria then just wait maybe another month and we will talk about that okay so the Sun 2000 the oldest model which I have how does this one look like yeah you can see very dirty from the outside of course most of the dirt is here on the lower part where the air is blown into the inverter but other than dust I cannot see much this this area here is protected by coating looks all well somebody once 
asked me if I ever looked on the resistors here next to these transformers. They look dark and if they are overheating or something, but I don't see anything suspicious. They are darker, but I think they are like this. They look exactly the same on the newer one. And this one is already three years old, so no problem. So I want to take a look underneath here into our power supply area. This tends to corrode a little bit here. Oh, there are ants underneath. Okay, we need to get those out somehow. So here underneath the power supply area is a voltage regulator and the small ants, they liked that somehow. I will just try it with pressurized air. Just go to the garage quickly and blow it out a little bit. It's on the lower side, there are no SMD components so there's no danger to blow off something. Guns are gone. I don't see any issue with this inverter as well. I will check up the third one, but that one is brand new. So nothing to expect there too. So you see even such a very affordable inverter. It only costs like $300. Can run reliably for many years. I also think that my uh, DC pre-charging which I do when I uh, turn on this device is helping there a lot. That was it. Just a short video to tell you what will go on. So the next time I'm talking to you will be probably when I'm in Austria. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe to the channel and I see you then next time.